Hi, welcome to the Crafts Channel. My name's Corinne Brad, and today I want to show you something that is very reminiscent of Christmases in the 1970s when I was a child, which are these honeycomb Christmas tree decorations. Now, any self-respecting semi-detached house in the 1970s had an array of these tissue paper honeycomb Christmas decorations that, as a child, they were magical because they were flat, and then you just took them and you opened them out and it made a three-dimensional decoration. We had them all over the place, and we had them for years, and for, actually I think my dad's probably still got some of them. But they're very easy to make, but I'm gonna make these from 80 gram colored paper, and not tissue paper, because I'll be honest, tissue paper is very thin, very thiddly, and also when you glue it, if you're not careful, the glue soaks through. So making it out of a bond paper, and just clipping it with a paper clip at the back makes a far more hard wearing Christmas tree. So you can use them year after year or until they go out of fashion. So we will start, there'll be a link in the description below so you've got a template for your Christmas trees. There's two shapes of tree and each tree can be either five leaves high, four leaves high or you can get it down to three leaves high. So you can make a variety of heights and widths. I'm going to do a narrow one that is four leaves high and I'm simply going to fold a piece of paper so that I can fit my Christmas tree design onto it. And I've designed these so that you can get probably four tree shapes out of a sheet of A4. And I'm just gonna draw around this tree shape. And also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut more than one at a time. Um, sensibly, you can't really cut more than, I suppose, three pieces of folded paper at one time. Um, you can try, but it really is tricky, unless you've got very good scissors and you don't have any sort of mobility pro problems with your fingers. Trying to cut more than about three sheets is tricky. So I'm just going to cut this. And then you need to assemble it. And what we do is you put glue on the indentations of each leaf, but then when you're layering it up, you put glue on the outer edges of each leaf. So we'll do the indentations first of all. And you only need a tiny spot of glue. Fold it back in half, press it down. Do your next one. Fold it back in half. Press it down, layer it up, and you continue to pretty much stick all of your folded trees in half. But you are using a bare minimum of glue. And you do want to give it enough time to stick before you move on to the next step. And the next step would be let me just do this one. The next step will then be selecting all of your folded tree shapes. Let's just say for a pretend sake that I've glued all of these. And stack them together, making sure that your Leaves and points aren't fitting one inside each other. There's one errant one there. So you stack them all up like you would if you were, I don't know, binding book pages or something like that. It's this kind of arrangement. Now if you've got some sewing clips, they are great for just grabbing the ends. If you don't have any sewing clips, you can Secure the ends with a paper clip. 
And then what you want to do is you want to run PVA all along that spine so that it's gluing the spines together. And use a good quality PVA, don't use a really, you know, don't use like a child's school glue because that's too wet. Um, something like Mod Podge would be fine. So when you've glued it and it's dried, you can then open it out on the spine like so. Now, to be honest with you, this tree looks quite nice already. And you could, you could achieve this without any glue on these leaves. You could just have a straight three-dimensional tree. But what I would suggest you do is cut yourself two tree halves out of card. And before you go any further, glue these card pieces to either side of your tree. And this is purely so that you've got a stronger, sturdier piece of material to clip your paper clips onto when it's opened out. Because you don't want it to tear while it's on display. Oh, and that was the other thing I was going to say. I think, realistically, you need at least 18 folded trees to make a decent circle. Any less than that, you're going to really struggle to get it to come out. If you're going to use it just as a, a 3D deck to, I don't know, blue tack to your wall or something like that, you could get away with less layers. But if you want it to open all the way around, 18 sheets is probably the minimum you can get away with. Um, and the more sheets you put in there, the, the more foliagey the tree looks. So then the last step for this is if you open up your tree and this first folded one has been glued at the intersections if you just then put a dob of glue on each point of the tree and then fold it down Do it for the next layer. And fold it down. And continue dotting the glue on and folding those pieces down. and pressing down firmly on them. Now, I'm going to do that thing that I always do, which is try and demonstrate something before my glue has completely dried. But hopefully, that glue is tacky enough, you can now see that you're forming these um, sort of like pointed sword shapes between the ends of each leaf and the intersections. So that, when you've done the whole tree and it's completely dry, You've got, it's not quite a honeycomb, but it is that kind of idea. This honeycomb shape. So you've got some depth to your paperwork there. So I hope you like that idea. There will be a link in the description below so that you can download your own templates and get making them for Christmas this year. And it will make a great display on a Christmas mantelpiece, or even if you don't have a spare surface, you can do these and just simply open them up so they're only, they've got a flat back and just, I don't know, pop them on your windows or your walls or around a doorway. Just something nice, very simple. And if you make them out of a decent 80 gram coloured bond paper, um, they will last you for Christmas is to come. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. Um, Please come back and see us again very, very soon because we've got all kinds of demonstrations coming up every week. In the meantime, keep safe and we'll see you soon. If you've been inspired to create, please share your makes with us in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed videos by The Crafts Channel, hit the like button. Want to see more of us? Then click subscribe. See you next time.